I'm Mary Ann Cushy, and this is your morning update for Thursday, March 10th. Gasoline prices spiking again overnight in San Diego. The average price per gallon is now 571 for regular, going up almost 11 cents overnight. The conversation over short-term rentals in San Diego continues, but last night the California Coastal Commission voted unanimously to approve San Diego's new rules. According to a Coastal Commission report, the new rules could cut short-term rentals by nearly half from about 12,300 to 6,500. Those who own property and use it as a short-term vacation rental will have to enter a lottery to get a license. That's if they plan on renting out their home out for more than a year. Today, the Navy sailor charged with setting fire to USS Bonhomme Richard will be in court. Ryan Sawyer Mays will face a judge and enter a plea for the fire that destroyed the billion-dollar amphibious assault ship. Today's arraignment takes place at 8. A uh, San Diego bank has decided to loan Donald Trump's company $100 million. According to city documents, the loan was finalized by Axis Bank and the Trump Organization in February. The loan is being used to pay back an old loan backed by commercial space at Trump Tower. That old loan is due in September. Major League Baseball announcing a second week of canceled games for the regular season. MLB lockout negotiations broke down again with players and owners failing to reach a new collective bargaining agreement. In turn, MLB postponed the start of the regular season again. Padres season opener is now tentatively set for April 14th. Well, tonight at 6.30, you're encouraged to cheer for our health care workers the same way many people did every night early on in the pandemic. At the same time, city leaders are holding a special ceremony at the Spreckles Oregon Pavilion in Balboa Park to proclaim this month Health Care Heroes Month. Now let's get a check on your first alert weather forecast here, Sheena. Hey, good morning, Marianne. Uh, we have seen maybe a few sprinkles early today for the coast and inland valleys. Cloudy skies through most of the county for the first half of the day. And then later on this afternoon, the mountains will have a chance for a couple showers. First half of the day cloudy, second half of the day more sun for the coast and inland valleys. Overnight will start to clear up, but it will be getting breezy for the inland locations and the mountains. We have a wind advisory later tonight through tomorrow afternoon. Offshore Santa Ana winds that will warm us up tomorrow. Keep us warmer on Saturday, and we also spring forward one hour this weekend. Sunday will be cooler, Marion. Thanks, Gina. And of course, you can get the very latest news right here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more. It's on our podcast today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Stay safe, everybody, and have a great day.